Good morning. My mom and I are here at the Zimmerman Lake Trailhead. It's also the Montgomery Pass Trailhead here in the Roosevelt National Forest. And it's a little frosty up here. Official start time, 7.08. And today is the maiden voyage of the new boots, the La Sportiva Nucleos. Two miles to Montgomery Pass. And I think this is like a 1,000 foot elevation gain. We're just hiking straight up this thing. It's a consistent uphill the entire way up to Montgomery Pass. We're 30 minutes into the hike and we're stopping for a quick equipment adjustment, AKA taking off the jackets, the stocking cap, the neck gaiter, and the gloves. And I'm thinking it's gonna be a beautiful day we just hit this small burned area and this looks to be about a half mile from Montgomery Pass. So we're almost up there. This hasn't been too bad of a hike so far, but it has been uphill the whole time. Yeah, this is going to be a really beautiful day. I can tell blue skies and very low wind. The wind is pretty much non-existent right now. We'll see what it's like once we get up at Montgomery Pass, but yeah, so far it's real nice. And what we're gonna do today are these things called the bird peaks. I'm not really sure what they're called, but the South Ridge leading up to Clark Peak has six high points and they all have a different bird name. And we're gonna see how far we can go. And we've almost made it through the trees. And then right around the corner up here is where it opens up. And that's where Montgomery Pass is. We're real close now. As we hit this open area, I can feel the wind a little more, but it's still not bad at all. And that's where we're gonna be heading, up here to the right. We're gonna see how far we can go. And in an hour and 15 minutes, we've made it up to Montgomery Pass at 11,000 feet. And I liked the old sign a lot better. The one that was made out of wood that you could barely read and it had barbed wire wrapped around it. Yeah, that was way better. And I think that the first official bird peak is this one way out here. And after a nice little five minute break and some organic cheesy smiles, we're off. We're gonna start taking it up the hills here. I think Swallow is up at over 11,600. So we're looking at a pretty good gain. And here we go. We're starting up the first incline. This is awesome up here. 
and there's hardly any wind, which is making it much more enjoyable. Yeah, if the wind was whipping up here, yeah, it wouldn't be much fun. There's nowhere to hide. Now look at the views today. Real good clarity. I'm loving this terrain up here. It's super good. It's really nice. It's like a faint trail, not too rocky. That's looking back at where we've come from. And wow, I can see Lulu and Thunder have snow on them. That's crazy. I can barely see part of the Noku Crag sticking up. Mount Mauler looks like it has some snow on it. And then I believe that one in the foreground is North Diamond Peak. I wasn't really sure which high point was considered swallow. So luckily I had phone signal up here for a few minutes. I was able to get a text off to Rudy and he confirmed that swallow is gonna be the first high point past those towers up there. Okay, that little down and up isn't so bad. And we're floating along at about 11,300 right now. And it looks like the top of the hill up there is at about 11,550. So that's a gain of about 250 feet. I think this incline looks worse than it actually is. This really isn't too bad at all. The terrain is wonderful. We can now see like most of Mount Richtofen. We can see the Noku Crags, Thunder Pass, Lulu and Thunder. All right, we're coming up over the hill and we're getting a view up to the north. We can see the next pair of humps, I believe. And the first one is Chickadee and the one just behind it is Grosbeak, I think. Yeah, one thing we have noticed up here is that there are a lot of birds, birds all over. And we're almost up to the high point that has the little towers on it. It should be just up here around the corner. And we're almost up to the weather tower. And then just beyond it, is gonna be Swallow out there. We're at least gonna get Swallow, for sure. Not sure about Chickadee or Gross Beak, but we're gonna get Swallow. Yeah, this thing was looking a little far away from Montgomery Pass, but we're up here. Yeah, looking up at Chickadee, I'm not sure if we're gonna get that one or not. After you drop it down from Swallow, I'm just guessing that's around a 700 foot gain back up the side. And we've got a little bit of a drop right here too. Getting up to Chickadee <laughs> looks pretty hard. We're gonna get up to the top of Swallow and then decide what we're gonna do. 
and so far that's going to be our biggest little uphill section on the way back yeah there's no way to avoid it really you got to go up and over almost there almost there here this is going to be the summit of swallow and this is the first bird peak on the way up to clark peak there are five more of these that's going to be cameron peak on the right and then that high point in the middle is chickadee This is epic up here. I'm loving it. I feel like I'm hiking in a completely new area because I've never been this way before. And that's looking back at where we've come from. It's tea time up here on the summit of Swallow and also organic cheddar cheesy smile time but it's always organic cheddar cheesy smile time we don't want to have another fire up here but it looks like the tag for the tea just caught fire the Tulsi masala watch it burn and this is the view from our spot and we're looking down onto the Joe Wright Reservoir the one to the right is Zimmerman Lake. And then the mountains in the background, starting left to right, are going to be Comanche Peak, Hague's Peak, Fairchild Mountain, Ypsilon Mountain, and Mount Chiquita. And if I spin over here, you can see a whole bunch more. I can even see Long's Peak sticking up back there. I can see Iron Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Lulu Mountain, The Electrode, Mount Richtofen, Mount Mahler, and the Diamond Peaks. And my mom just gave me this little beef stick to try. She's like, oh, you gotta try it. This thing should be called like a beef stick popper or something. It's so small. So it looks like we've hiked approximately 3.4 miles according to the GPS and we have come up well over 1,600 vertical feet. I think we could definitely do that if we wanted, but the issue that we're running into today is time. I mean, it's close to 1030 already. If we were going to go out there and come back, uh, we're looking at two and a half to three hours just to get out to that and get back to this point. And that's going to make it a real late hike. The wind is starting to pick up a tiny bit, but it's still not too bad at all. I'll take it. It could be so much worse. We're going to walk over here to the edge and look at this drop that connects Swallow to Chickadee. I'm thinking it's gonna be a couple hundred feet. And there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say that that's a 150 foot drop down to the lowest point and then back up to over 12,100. Yeah, just walking back up here to the top of Swallow is making me tired and happy that we're not doing chickadee. 
Ah, oh, jeez. And there's our stuff. Okay. And that's looking over in the direction of Chambers Lake. And I believe I can see Middle Bald Mountain sticking up. When you're on Middle Bald Mountain, you can see all of these bird peaks perfectly. And this is looking over in the direction of Walden. And we believe we can see rabbit ears sticking up way out there. Yeah, we've got really good clarity today. We've been sitting up here on the summit of Swallow for about an hour, but it's 1045 and it's time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. Let's take it on back. And I'm thinking we should make up quite a few minutes on the way down. Yeah, this is pretty epic up here. Awesome views. My favorite thing about this hike is that it wasn't super hard. I mean, you can make this as hard as you want out here. Like I said, there are six of these bird peaks total. We only did the first one. If we would have got out to Chickadee, that was looking to be close to halfway out to Clark Peak. However, there's a ton more down and up on the way. Yeah, there are tons of birds up here. Look at them. Mount Richtofen looks pretty awesome with all the snow on it. Looking savage. This was a nice little hike. Nothing too serious at all. Plus we got to experience a new area. If you wanted to take it out to Chickadee or Grosbeak, that's gonna be a little more serious. I'm thinking out to chickadee from the trailhead is going to be close to probably five miles out with a net elevation gain of around 2700 i'm just guessing it could be more it could be less but that's a pretty solid hike and we've made it back to the montgomery pass road i think that's what it's called i looked it up on the map when we were sitting on the summit and it was called the Montgomery something. almost back down to Montgomery Pass. And I'm thinking from Montgomery Pass out to Swallow is about 1.4 miles. And that's gonna be damage from the Cameron Peak Fire in 2020. Probably my least favorite year ever. And that's looking back at where we've come from. Way out there. And we've made it back down to Montgomery Pass. And that took us 50 minutes from the summit of Swallow. I think it took us about an hour and 15 minutes to get up there from here earlier this morning. So yeah, it's a decent little hike to get out to Swallow. And we're looking at about two miles and a 1,000 foot drop back down to the Zimmerman Lake trailhead. Yeah, that's looking back over at Swallow. 
And that was a decent little hike to get out there. And we're still holding on to this really pretty day out here. I mean, it got a little cold and windy up on the mountains, but it really wasn't too bad. And it's nothing a jacket or two wouldn't fix. Well, we've been coming down for an hour and 25 minutes. And there are some switchbacks on this Montgomery Pass Trail. And I believe we're just at the top of them right now. So we don't have too much further. We could potentially be back in 20 minutes. I can hear 14 Highway out there in front of us. So we're almost done with this thing. All right, guys. And we're back. That's gonna be 14 Highway right out there in front of us. It's just now 12.30. So that has taken us an hour and 45 minutes to come down from the summit of Swallow. I'm thinking that took maybe two and a half hours to get up there this morning. All right, Swallow, boom, got it. Well, we hope you enjoyed that hike and until the next one, y'all, peace.